Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. Okay, so this, essentially here we've got an angle on a graph, and we're told uh, to identify the reference angle. So this is a reference angle question. And if you remember what a reference angle is, all this spiraling around might throw you off, but it doesn't really matter, because the reference angle is always, always, always the angle between the terminal side, where the angle ends, where theta ends, this is theta, and the x-axis. So it's that little angle right there. So this is going to be what we're going for. Now, it's a little confusing to figure this out. Maybe you can figure out directly. I like to take 49 pi over 18 and find a coterminal angle with it. So I'm going to subtract 2 pi. Or two, 2 pi is a full rotation, right? So what I'm saying is, well, here <clears throat> we're over 2 pi. It's over. Let's go back. Let's subtract 2 pi and get us here. What that will do is it will highlight this blue angle there. Let me get blue up so we can match that. Okay. See, that gets us this angle here. That's what we're finding. So it's a coterminal angle that's below 360 uh, or below 2 pi. And 49 minus 36, that's 13 pi over 18. So that's the angle we're looking at. That's the blue angle, right? That's this thing right here. So this is pi radians. We have 13 pi over 18, uh, 13 pi over 18. So we just do pi minus 13 pi over 18, which is essentially pi is 18 pi over 18 pi. It's the full 18 pieces minus the 13 pieces we have here. Thinking of fractions, so that's 5 pi over 18, and that's our reference angle. All right, I hope that helped.